Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ingram Jones, and I have with me Jason, the sensation Gavin. Jason, how you Mr. doing? Mr. Ingram, sir. How are you, man? Doing all right? Happy Tuesday. Yeah, happy, happy Tuesday. Indeed, happy Tuesday. Um, Interesting news. Do you remember when we did that sort of podcast together? It was me, you, and another heavyweight in the room? Yes, sir. I absolutely remember, Mr. Allen. Yes, I remember. And now, the both of you are going to be fighting, I understand. Yes, sir. I got a call pretty much today um, from Eddie Hearn. Mm -hmm. Actually, Twitter. He tw I got a Twitter message from him yesterday. Yep. And uh, asking me if I might be interested in fighting David Allen. Uh... So yeah, I. Why not? What's what? I got nothing to lose, you know. So, let's do it. So then now, I'll be coming over tomorrow. So obviously, I mean, like I said, we 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 did a podcast together, a couple of podcasts together with Dave Allen in the room. Um, from your side of things, how much do you know about Dave Allen the fighter? Honestly, I don't know. I did. I looked up a couple of videos of him yesterday. Yes. Just. You know, I've heard of him just because I'm a heavyweight, and I've heard of him over there, but I've never really seen him or, or seen him any fights or anything. Yeah. You know, so other than talking to him on the podcast and whatnot, uh, yeah, pretty much just learned about him yesterday. So. Okay. So uh, how much training have you done? You know, obviously, before I know you're a man that likes to keep yourself in shape, but in terms of this particular fight, it was uh, not much notice. Have you been training beforehand or...? I'm in the gym. I'm always I'm always doing something. Yeah. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, it's it's like boxing, like riding a bike. You know, you get on a bike, you know what you're doing. I get in the ring, I know what I'm going to be doing. So uh, pretty much, people who know me, see me fight, know my style. It's let's let's fight. You know, at least in this fight, I'm not fighting a guy six five six six. You know, yeah. I'm fighting a guy my size. So at least there's more of a Easier, sh easier chance to land some shots on them, and you know it could turn into a fan-friendly fight. You know we're the same size, we get in the middle of the ring, let's throw a little bit. Absolutely, so. both of you come forward, both of you like to throw punches. I think it's gonna be, I, I think it's gonna be a great fight because you both guys are gonna come forward. You're not gonna back down. He's not gonna back down. So, good fight you got there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, and that's the, that's the fun of it. You know, every time I fight over there in the UK, I always mention it's about the fans. As long as the fans come out and see a fight. You know, Twitter right now is buzzing a little bit. Facebook is a little bit, and they're saying, "Oh, Gavin's coming over last, last minute." Uh, but hey, man, at, at the end of the day, even with the Joshua fight, I took that fight on quick notice. But I left everything in the ring. I gave as best as I can against a guy to his stature, and I plan on doing that, you know, again tomorrow night or Saturday night. Um, know, so. I know when you fought Deontay Wilder, you you said you you were you were in the best of shape. Are you in better shape coming in to fight Allen than you were against Deontay Wilder? Yeah, absolutely. I feel, uh, like I said, Deontay Wilder is 6'7", yep. you know, running around the ring. This guy, is, uh, Mr. Allen, is going to be my size. I think it's going to benefit me more in this fight than it will be for a fight as like Deontay. Okay. You know, so uh, I'm excited for this fight. I think it's a good opportunity. And also coming to the U.K. is also a great thing so I'm excited for that so uh, yeah I'm definitely looking forward to the trip Dave Allen was quite complimentary of the you know the experience that you bring to the ring um, certainly gives him uh, international exposure and knows that you're a guy that takes a good shot and uh, is willing to, to give it a go I actually referred to I said to Dave what would happen if Jason if, if you hit Jason on the chin and Jason turned around and went woo uh, Jack, um <laughs> Dave's response was basically, if he does it again, if he, if he does it again, he'll end up getting his jaw broken. What's your thoughts about uh, that? Okay. Hey, uh, it's the fight game. You know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, again, that's I bring that to the ring. That's just with me, whether I'm in a fight, not in a fight. It's just my uh, personality, what I bring to the ring. So I respect David as a fighter. You know, I'm sure he respects me as a fighter. And, um, he was supposed to fight a whole different fighter in Richard Towers. I know he's 
what's he, six five, six six, a yep. big, tall, lanky guy. Yep. Well, now he's coming to a guy six two, his height. You know, let's fight. You you, you train all this ways a certain way against a guy like a Richard Towers. Now you got a whole different fighter coming in. So it might be bad for him. You know, he might. You know, he might get hit on the chin once. I don't think he's ever been really tested. I looked at his record. He hasn't fought anybody. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. I have a whole ton of experience, and I'm just bringing it with me to this fight. And, you know, hopefully uh, it turns out to be a good fight. You know, just pray for him and I that both of our safety is intact and, and when the fight's over. And, you know, it, it is what it is. No no, no hard feelings, nothing bad against them. Just it's, it's the boxing business. It is what it is. That's you know, exactly so. what he said. He's no hard feelings. It's just the boxing business. It just so happens that you guys are fighting. Um, I did say to Dave, why don't we just call this Bayloric TV Fight Night? Because basically, you 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 got to know one another through Bayloric TV and our podcast. Now you're fighting one another. Yeah, yeah. Boxing, especially in the heavyweight division, is a small family. Mm. It gets to the point where you know the who's who. You're in camp with these guys. You get to be friends with the managers and the promoters and everybody. And at the end of the day, it's uh, it's all about the fans and just getting the fight going for everybody. You know. Uh, if I make sense for him, for me, then let's do it. Why not? You know, so, like I said, it's going to be a good, a good time. It's always fun to come over to the UK, and I'm looking forward to it. Dave says that you're, 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 you're a character. He says, uh, you know, you're, you bring lots of entertainment to, to the ring and stuff. Have you got a message for Dave Allen? Because his message basically was if you, if you go woo to him, it will, you know, you're going to get, the, you're going to get the best Dave Allen. And, you know, it'll, it'll, and you know, Dave Allen, I think he's like 22 or 23. He's a yep. young kid. I was 23. I'm a professional. You know, at that point, I might have only had two or three pro fights. Right. He's a young kid coming up. You know, uh, just keep your head straight. You know, don't let don't let people in the boxing world ruin it for you. You know, boxing is about you to take care of yourself because nobody else is going to take care of you. At the end of the day, everybody's going to use you for what they want. They're not going to use you for what you want. So, but... When the right when the fight happens Saturday night, if I'm wooing or not, you're getting punched in the face. Woo! So, get ready to go. <laughs> no, Shots fired. I, I watched a few of his uh, interviews on TV or uh, on YouTube and whatnot. Seems like a really nice guy. You know, talks well, looks well, looks the part. So it's just gonna be a good time. You know, uh, he's the up and comer. I'm the journeyman. You know, pretty much next couple of years my career's over so helping the young kids out taking them to school teaching them some things you know so we'll see what happens so when do you arrive in the UK I am leaving tomorrow night I'm leaving from Florida Orlando Florida I'll be flying out and I'll be I think I'm flying to Sheffield I don't know I don't know where I'm flying to yeah it'll be Sheffield uh, you'll be flying to yes but uh, I was supposed to leave tonight, but we didn't get all the paperwork done in time, so I'll have to leave tomorrow. So, and when but, would you uh, fly back out of the uh, fly back out of America back to America? I would imagine the day after, probably Sunday, Sunday morning, sometime. Interesting. I'll be in the UK, hopefully, on the Thursday. But there's another big fight going on as well in the UK as well. So, <laughs> stop. And for the, for the record, put this in the record books. I want to fight Sean Turner in Ireland, from Ireland. Oh, yes. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who this guy is. You know, whatever happens in this fight, give me a solid training camp, and I want to meet this guy in the ring and just go toe-to-toe, and I want to tee off on this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there, there are some, uh, yeah, I've heard the back and forth between yourself and Sean Turner, and I'm, and I'm in Ireland, as you know. Um, why? What is it about Sean Turner that makes you want to tee off on him? I really have no idea who the guy is. I've never heard of him. Uh, one day on Twitter, he just started talking some stuff. And I'm like, oh, what's up? How you doing? He disrespected me. He says all this stuff. The kid has, when I say this guy has a funny body, look at his last opponents. They're like 7 and 40. And he takes them four, six rounds, and he wins a decision. Please. I think he's promoted by MGM Marbella, I think it's called. Yep. Something like that. Please send me the contract. Let's get this fight done. Winner take all. If, if you're worried about the money and me taking a fall and just coming for the for the money, if you beat me, I'll give you my whole check. Just please meet me in the ring so I can punch you square in the face. Please. 
please meet me in the ring. So you, okay, Mark. You, you, you want oh. Sean Turner? Oh, my God. That's, yes, sir. It would be a tremendous, tremendous fight, and I would love it. Okay, so oh, your, your message, to, your, your message, so you have no message, real message to Dave Allen, your real message is to Sean Turner. <laughs> no, yeah, whatever, it is what it is. Dave Allen, I'm coming, Sean Turner, I'm going to bust your face off. Oh. Wow. Anyway, anyways, and I don't even get like that. I think it's the first time in my career I actually want to fight somebody, I want to punch this kid in the face. And right. I have, this will be my 52nd fight, I've never felt like this before. And this little fat kid, oh, my God. It's okay. It's all right. He can't. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Well, Get, well, David, David Allen, first and foremost. Okay. So your message to David Allen is? My message to David Allen. Get ready for Saturday night. Bring your A game because I'm coming. And your message to Sean Turner? Sean Turner, you beep, beep. Beep, send me the contract. Oh, my God. So it's, per go. it's personal with with, with uh, Sean Turner. Yeah, yes, yes. I don't like this kid. He has a big, fat mouth. The kid's like a five, he's like 5'10". I would, oh, my God. He's like a, I'll break that kid in half. Jesus, please send so, me a contract. So if I'm gonna if I'm going to tag this video so he gets his attention, what do I put in the video, tag in the video? Would I tag the video title? Uh, Jason Gavin says, "I want, I want to." Oh my God! I don't know. Make it, make it. I don't want to send me. I don't know. Send me the contract. Like, I'll fight you for free if you win. Winner takes all. You know, Sean Turner. Winner takes all. Sean Turner versus Jason Gavin. Winner takes all. Let's let's do this. And I'll come to Ireland. I'll come to Ireland and fight you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, here, I've got the sweats you're talking about, this fat bastard. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it, it, makes, it makes for a big fight. We talk about a big fight and a big fight. So you're in Sheffield and you might end up being in the island. You know, whatever happens in the, with the Dave Allen fight, I get it. It is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't even... Uh, it, it is what it is. But Sean Turner... Give me, give me a camp. You you do a camp. Let's meet up and fight it out. Plain and simple. No, yeah. There you go. Jason, just finally, do you have any intel on um, what's his name, Charles Martin? Charles Martin. I know absolutely nothing about Charles Martin. Okay. I've heard of him in the past because I've been offered fights with him. Yes. But, you know, I don't really don't know much about Charles Martin. I, I saw his fight when he won his title against Glaskov, but right. I think because of Glaskov getting injured like he did, a lot of questions that people had of, of Martin weren't answered because he wasn't able to showcase what he had. Right. Um, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying he is or is not going to be Joshua, but I just think Joshua's got to be careful because this is a big six-five southpaw that can punch and can yes. move and can box. Yes, you know so. Yeah, I give Joshua and Eddie Hearn a lot of credit because, at the end of the day, if he loses, it is what it is. But it's it's a big step up. But if he wins, you know the sky's the limit for Joshua. You know so. Jason Gavin, thank you so much for talking to Bayloric TV, and we just ask our final question: Will you give us a shout out? at the end of your fight. Absolutely. It will be my pleasure, sir. Very much so. Don't forget us. All right, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. Do you take care, Jason. All right. Bye. Ciao. Bye.